A very good morning to all the students. I hope you all are fine and fit. Students, let's start our today's class with the sentence of the day. Today's sentence of the day is Walk hard in silence. Let success make the noise. I repeat again. Walk hard in silence. Let success make the noise. Now students, let's start our today's class. So I hope you all have opened your SST books. So students, now take out chapter number 5, the southern plateaus. We are doing chapter number 5, the southern plateaus. So students, as we all know that, we have completed the chapter, the southern plateaus. So today we will do the word power and exercise A. But before that we will recapitulate the chapter. So we will read about let us recall which is given on page number 36. Now take out page number 36. Let us recall Page number 36. First point. The southern plateaus lie to the south of the northern plains. So, the southern plateaus lie to the south of the northern plains. Right? It lies in South of the Northern Plains. Right? So the Southern Plateaus lie in the south of the Northern Plains. Next, second point. The Southern Plateaus consist of Malwa Plateau, Chota Nagpur Plateau and Deccan Plateau. So, the southern plateaus consist of the three plateaus, Malwa Plateau, Chota Nagpur Plateau and Deccan Plateau. Right? Next, the main rivers flowing through this region are Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri and Tapi. So, these are the rivers which flows through the southern plateaus. Next, the Chota Nagpur Plateau is rich in minerals. So, the Chota Nagpur Plateau has the largest deposit of coal. Remember? Yes. Next, the main occupation of people in Maharashtra is agriculture. So, the main occupation of the people in Maharashtra is agriculture. Next, Bangalore is known as the garden city. As I have told you that Bangalore is known as the garden city. Why? Because of its many parks and Bangalore is the capital of Karnataka. Next, Tamil Nadu is famous for its temples and handloom industry. So, Tamil Nadu is very famous for its temples and handloom industry. Now, students, we have recaptured the chapter. We have done, let us recall. Now we will do the word power. Now take out your SST notebooks. You have to write down today's date that is 27th July 2020. Then you will write down the chapter name and chapter number that is chapter number 5, the southern plateaus. Then you will write down the heading word power.
right then you will write down the heading word power which is given on page number 36 now we will take the first word first word is desert first word is desert so what is desert a very dry area of land where few plants and animals can live. So this is the definition of desert. A very dry area of land where few plants and animals can live. This is the definition of desert. Next is plateau. What is plateau? A large area of high and fairly flat land. This is the definition of plateau. A large area of high and fairly flat land is called plateau. Next is high land. Now third high land. A mountainous. area of a country. This is the definition of highland. A mountainous area of a country. Next, fourth is flood. of a large amount of water beyond its normal limits. So this is the definition of flood. An overflow of a large amount of water beyond its normal limit. Next is dam. Fifth is dam. A barrier constructed a barrier constructed to hold water and raise its level. So this is the definition of dam. A barrier constructed to hold water 
and raise its level. Now students, we have done the word power. Now we will do exercise A in your books. Students, you have to do the exercise A in your book. Now take out page number 37, exercise A. Exercise A is take the right answer. Now you have to take the right answer. First, important festival of the options are Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Karnataka. So the correct option is Maharashtra. Ganesh Chaturthi is the most important festival of Maharashtra. So you have to take Maharashtra. Right? Now second, the largest of the southern plateau is, the option are Deccan plateau, Malva plateau and Chota Nagpur plateau. So the largest of the southern plateau is Deccan plateau. So you have to take Deccan plateau. In second, now third, the black soil is good for growing. The options are wheat, rice, cotton. So black soil is good for growing cotton. So you have to take cotton in third. Right? Next fourth. The southern plateaus are divided into Two unequal parts by the options are Ganga River, Narmada River, Krishna River. So the correct answer is Narmada River. Fourth is Narmada River. You have to take Narmada River. Now fifth one, Telugu is mostly spoken in the options are Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. So correct answer is Andhra Pradesh. Fifth is Andhra Pradesh. You have to take Andhra Pradesh. Now students, we have done the exercise A. Now we will do the word power and exercise A through the PPT. We will recapitulate these exercises. Now we will recapitulate the word power and exercise A. Word power. First, desert. A very large dry area of land where few plants and animals live. Second, plateau. A large area of high and fairly flat land. Third, high land. A mountainous area of a country. Fourth, flood. An overflow of a large amount of water beyond its normal limit. Fifth dam, a barrier constructed to hold back water and raise its level. Now exercise A, take the right answer. First, Gane Chaturthi is the most important festival of Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka. So the correct answer is Maharashtra. 
so you have to tick maharashtra second the largest of the southern plateaus is options are deccan plateau malwa plateau chhota nagpur plateau the correct answer is deccan plateau third the black soil is good for growing options are wheat rice cotton so the correct answer is cotton now fourth the southern plateaus are divided into two unequal parts by the the options are ganga river narmada river krishna river correct answer is narmada river fifth telugu is mostly spoken in options are karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh correct answer is andhra pradesh now students we have completed the exercise a and word power now write down your homework your homework is you have to do word power in a notebook and complete exercise a in a book of chapter 5 that is the southern plateaus so this is your ssc homework you have to do the word power in a notebook and you have to complete exercise a in a book of chapter number 5 the southern plateaus now students just remember one thing now you don't have to send your homework on the school app now we will give you the dates that when you have to submit your notebooks at school thank you students have a nice day